So as most of you may know, Roller Champions had a closed alpha event recently, meaning they selected a certain number of participants mm -hmm. that signed up on their website and gave them an early build of the mm -hmm. game to test and provide feedback. Now this is a very common tactic for many games before release, as it allows the developers to not only get the much needed feedback and suggestions from the community, but it also helps to test things like server architecture and matchmaking systems. But I'm going to tell you how it all went wrong. Our story starts with the closed alpha. On day zero, things were just amazing. Everyone who had been wanting to play this game for the last nine months finally had it and were able to play, including me. I could hardly sleep the night before, and booting up the game for the first time in so long was very exciting. Exploring all the new features like customization and the ability to gain more than 3,000 fans were mind-boggling. Hopping into some matches and feeling the polish of the mechanics, oh, I couldn't help but to play non-stop for the next five days. But after those five days, I woke up to a new patch. Patch 2.0. I talk about it more in depth in the video in the top right. Anyway, it changed a lot of things. Dodging was majorly buffed, and you could just reach the ceiling in as little as one dodge up the wall. They also made the break and go mechanic very inconsistent, so people would end up flipping around instead of changing direction. If you didn't know what the break and go mechanic was, basically you could tap the break button and you would instantly change direction. It was useful on the wall to become very unpredictable. People were outraged. The Discord was a war zone. Like, it really started to get bad. And many people outright stopped playing the alpha out of frustration. People felt like the team had seriously messed up. And while this was going on, the matchmaking was changed too. Before, matchmaking was very loose, and this was on purpose to keep the queue times down and get people into matches very quickly. The downside is that matches are sometimes unfair. Well, this change was supposedly to make matches a lot fairer, which in turn increased queue times. For people in the leaderboard, it was a lot. Sometimes 15 minutes to get into a single game. And some people say that they still get into very unfair matches, so you can see why this angered some people. Three days later, Mr. Dr. Pink returned with more patch notes, patch 2.1. This patch brought a lot of mixed feelings to the community. They fixed some minor visual bugs and reverted the dodge back to what it was before. Many people were happy about this, but many people were still mad that the break and go mechanic was not reverted as well. With this, they also announced that they are opening the test to anyone who signed up to the closed alpha, which was pretty cool. As the test slowly drew to a close, I saw a lot more people getting angrier and angrier with the game and just stopping playing altogether. Let's just say that the feedback channels and the Discord were very, very active. Like, really active. Like, that that's a lot of text. Anyway, I expect most of these imbalances to be addressed by the team before the beta. After all, the closed alpha was for feedback, and surely, the game won't be this toxic, right? 